Welcome back to Inside Access, where we explore new endodontic products together. I'm your host, Dr. Brett Gilbert, and I'm so excited to continue this journey of unpackaging and really discovering more about some of the endodontic products on the marketplace to help you really discover what's available to you for your own clinical practice. This episode is featuring the Exact Taper HDC Rotary Nitai File System from SS White Dental. Now, SS White Dental really comes to the marketplace claiming to be all about dentin preservation, minimally invasive dentistry. And I felt intrigued by this and wanted to really put them to the test to see if this file system really lived up to the billing. I think you'll enjoy seeing what I discovered. Let's take a deeper look into the Exact Taper HDC filing system from SS White Dental. So let's take a deeper look at the Exact Taper HDC system by SS White. It all starts with the SX. This is going to be your orifice shaper. This is going to be a 15 at the tip, 09 taper. You can see excellent control memory, and that's consistent across the entire system. So there's your orifice shaper, the SX. Next, you're going to have your glide path file. That's a 1403 taper. Then you're going to have your S1, 1703 taper. Then you're going to have your S2, 1804 taper. Then you're going to have your F1, 2006 taper. Then you're going to have your F2, 2506 taper. Then you're going to have your F3, 3006 taper. And then your F4, 4006 taper, all with a maximum flute diameter of less than 0 0.80. So you're going to have your uh, availability of each of these files individually packed in a six pack. And this is consistent across each file. And then you also have the option of an assorted pack. Now in the assorted pack, you do have the SX, the orifice shaper. You do have the glide path file. You do have the S1, the S2, you have the F1 and the F2, and then the F3 and F4 can be purchased in these individually packed six packs. Let's take a look at a clinical application of this system. So you can see the SX and again, nice controlled memory. And this is gonna be your orifice shaper. So you'll see in a little bit of an increased speed here, just wanting to open the orifice, doesn't have to go to the stopper. Again, this is a 17 millimeter file, so therefore you can use whatever portion of it you need. I'm just opening each orifice here. You can see just a withdrawal and then a re-engagement. Ideally, you would clean the flutes each time. Uh, again, always irrigation. So once we have that orifice shaped, then we're gonna go ahead and irrigate and then use our apex locator. Once we have this established, we go to our glide path file, again, a 14 you can see nice flexibility you can see nice control memory and it really just goes down I have incredible respect for this particular file and where it's able to go for me which I've never really experienced before here's going to be our s1 this is going to be a 1703 again now that that glide path shaper has established it you can see this just essentially sinks right down into position to that stopper always irrigate now we have the s2 1804 and again the path has already been created this is essentially just just enlarging. Again, this is just a subtle change from 1703 to 1804. Again, always irrigating. Then again, we're going to go ahead and now we have the F1. This is going to be a 2006. This is, then you have your F2, 2506, if needed to continue the preparation, F3, 3006 if needed, and F4, 4006 if needed. There are some clinical uses of the SS White Exact Taper HDC system that are a little bit off label, and one of them is with retreatment. You can see this case, we have a lesion on the distal. I'm going to go ahead and just soften the gutta percha with a system B tip just to get the beginning of that gutta percha removed. This is selective retreatment of the distal root only. And now you're going to see our SX. This is going to be our 1509. And again, I find this to be an excellent penetrator of gutta percha. I'm not going to force it, I just allow for a tactile feel of feeling it penetrate. I am using this at a thousand rpm for the retreatment functionality this is going to be our glide path file 1403 again still at 1000 gentle touch just allowing it to sort of engage into the gutta percha and it really operates very nicely for this purpose so you can see some of the gutta percha coming up there here's our s1 1703 now at this point i'm going to go back to the 500 rpm that i prefer to spin these files at i find them to perform very well at 500 rpm and so again i'm going to bring this in 
and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be able to continue to enlarge. First, I'm just going to engage some of that just to show you some of the corkscrew nature of how the gutta perch is removed. So then again, this is going to be our S1. This is going to be 1703 back to 500 RPM. And now essentially I'm starting to shape. This is going to be S2. 1804 and again this will go in and again just engaging any gutta perch on the walls is starting to come off but at this point I'm really back to normal instrumentation of course always irrigating in between this is going to be our F1 this is going to be our 2006 and again this is going to go back starting to enlarge again and just you can see just allowing it to penetrate continuing to enlarge now with our F2 this is going to be our 2506 Again, continuing to shape this canal to remove the gutta percha. The prior root filling was likely larger than this. So we're gonna carry through the whole system. Here's our F3. This will be our 3006. And again, as this one engages, I can start to feel there's a little more resistance. And as you'll see, once I withdraw the file, it is because it was engaging and removing gutta percha. And we'll take a look at that. So again, always trying to get every bit of gutta percha we can off of the wall. And so there you can see a nice big piece. And again, sort of a corkscrew look to it as the file sort of engages it and winds it out. Finally, our 4006, this is gonna be our F4. This will be the final shape of the preparation. And again, you can see I'm engaging a bit, starting to enlarge that apical third and remove and as the case is complete, we can evaluate and see a lateral canal pop there of sealer. That is a lateral canal that was likely the cause of the post-treatment disease. We are in an age of minimally invasive dentistry, of dentin conservation, and I want to show you some of my own personal cases that I've done with these files, the SS White, Exact Taper HDC, and you can see really nice maintenance of curvature. This was a very calcified case. You can see nice slim profile, able to capture anatomy. You can see some of the sealer penetration through lateral portals of exit. Again, same thing here. You can see lateral portals of exit but again conservative minimally invasive dentistry preserving the dent and keeping the teeth strong so they can resist fracture so i'm very happy with the performance of these files and i think these cases illustrate that i hope you've enjoyed the episode i have vigorously tested this file system in my clinical practice and with that i give it my seal of approval meaning that for any dentist who's performing endodontic treatment in their practice this is a great option for predictable success in your endodontic treatments Thank you for joining me, and I can't wait to see you inside the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave any comments or questions below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to interact with you. And if you have any products that you'd like me to review, please let me know. Leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. So thank you for watching the video, and have an awesome day.